You ever notice how women are allowed to blame their behavior on their hormones, but men don't get that luxury? Anytime yeah, a girl gets sure. overly emotional or acts irrationally or gives you attitude, it's often her hormones that get the blame and nobody says anything. But what about when men are checking a girl out at the gym or make a move sexually or just generally get aggressive or competitive in a situation? Suddenly it's not about hormones anymore, is it? Nah, we're just reckless, immature creeps with no self-control. I thought women wanted equality. Either everyone gets to blame their hormones, or no one does. And I give you the choice, ladies. After all, we wouldn't want the patriarchy setting the rules now, would we? It's a privilege that these modern women have, and they don't even notice it. We always see examples of this on a day-to-day -day basis, in our life, or on the internet. For example, a woman might hit a man and get away with it. But if it was the other way around, that man would definitely go to jail. This is so spicy, it's kind of hot like your mom. I didn't say that. I meant, I meant hot like you. Your mom looks like you. That's what... I don't know. I'm going to tell her you said that. You can tell her. She thinks I'm hot too. She said it one time. <sighs> when she says to you, Are you angry? Reply to her, No, just less interested. Turn off your phone and go to sleep. She wanted trouble. She's going to have insomnia. This reply is lethal. So you just, you didn't do anything wrong here? I don't feel like I did, no. I mean, he took... You know, my he took my love and the vows that I made to him when what? we got married and totally what? tromped all over my that love. for the first year of our marriage. Disrespected me, disrespected my home, disrespected our marriage. Okay, I understand why you feel justified for putting and him in jail. I'm just asking if you ran a red light in putting him in jail. Did you make statements that weren't true? I may have said that there was there was punching or hitting and and there was there was not that to my to my recollection well, recollection you, you but there was maybe say it you either said it or you didn't you either said he hit me and punched me or you didn't did I, you say I did. It? you did I did and did he hit you and punch you no okay not to my recollection you knew it wasn't true when you said it, though. I mean, let's be honest. Yes. You, you knew it wasn't true when you said it, right? Yes. Again, this is a perfect example of what we talked about earlier in the first clip. You see this woman right here got away with accusation that didn't even happen. She just felt like accusing her husband, and she did. And what are the consequences for this woman? None. Nothing is gonna happen to her. She's just gonna be held accountable on TV shows like this, and time will pass by, and the world will forget about it. I hate it when guys say women belong in the kitchen. Me too, babe. How else are you gonna clean the rest of the home from there? I miss the. Let's go. A lady's body count is her business. I'll never be honest enough to tell a man about business that doesn't concern him. I say this in the most respectful way, but you say I'll never be the honest contradiction, enough to tell bro. a man. <laughs> You're starting off the relationship the with contradiction, the contradiction. The bro. only reason why men and women lie, we as humans lie, is because we're ashamed or we're not proud of the truth behind some of our answers. Like I said, I'm saying this Facts. in a respectful way. Facts. But this is the point. If you care about men, if you want to date men, you have to care about the things that we as men value. Ladies, Facts. you want men to value things that women care about but all of a sudden when us men express the things that we care about the things that we hold value in i don't care what that man thinks what he's saying is facts i said this many times on this channel what women want in a man is called standards what men want in women is demonized and you're gonna get called all sorts of names and get shamed if you judge them on their past behavior they're gonna tell you you are an insecure man if you judge me on my past behavior any woman that says that is a walking red flag get away and do not get yourself involved with a woman like that he looks like he plays a coco the mexican that's right oh i'm mexican too it's okay Spanish? Oh, Listen, Spanish. Listen, no. Mexican. No, my dad got deported. <laughs> so she never learned. Yeah, he just oh, got so deported. He's back to Mexico. Oh, so he's in New York. He's been deported in New York? Or is he just lying to me? <laughs> Do you know what the definition of deported is? Back to Mexico. So he just, he just left your ass. If you're not a feminist, you're a sexist. If you're not a cat, you're an animal abuser. If you're not a firefighter, you're an arsonist. If you're not water, you're pro-fire. If you're not gay, you're homophobic. If you're not Willy Wonka, you can't own a chocolate factory. 
If you're an E, you can't be before I, except after C. If you're not biracial, you're racist. If you can walk, you're ableist. If you have a job, you're elitist. Are you sure you don't need my help this time? Nope. I'm a strong, independent woman. Kind of looks like you're struggling. Yeah. <laughs> you're it's gonna go wrong. Over. All right. It's gonna go oh, wrong very I soon. Okay. Have you been recording? Yeah. I have these. These are heavy. <laughs> Congratulations. You played yourself. This is a perfect example of when being strong and independent goes wrong. You better carry all those groceries if you're gonna talk that talk. How long have you been with your man? Five and a half months. Does he know what you're wearing tonight? He definitely does. He was out with us earlier. So he doesn't have an issue with the fact that other men can like literally see the bra that you're wearing, that your boobs are kind of perky right now. We bobby pinned it. We bobby pinned it. You shouldn't be able to see the bra. <laughs> no, he doesn't have an issue. He saw me earlier. No man should ever have an issue with how I dress. That's up to me. The only person who can have an issue are my parents. Okay. They're not here. We went to a bar. That's why I'm yeah. dressed like this. Do you think that when women put themselves in environments like that, they're kind of showcasing that they're still on the market? No. I will, since I was like literally 16 years old and I would like walk to around my neighborhood, like people would come up to you and like hit on you. Like there's no situation where men feel like it's off limits. Yeah. So it's like, it doesn't matter where you are, or what you're doing. Like someone's still going to say something or do something. I cheated thinking, fuck it. If you're going to hurt me, I'll hurt you first. So realistically, you can't hurt me. Because in my head, if they go and cheat, I've already cheated. And then now I'm just fucked. Yeah, I regret that. Did you cheat on the guy that cheated on you? Like, I only cheated once. I'd never do it oh. again. Dude, when you say you're fucked, what do you mean? Like my head. I can't. I don't feel nothing for anyone. This woman looks so damaged, it's not even a joke. That's what happens when you want to explore yourself and be promiscuous in your 20s. I'll say this in the most respectful way. You just end up being a shallow person. And after all that, you can't even get a genuine healthy bond with someone. That's what promiscuous does to men and women. Please tell me why when you're talking to a lady, like let's say, and you should never do this, but if you are ghosting the person, they shoot one more text. Hey, like just how are you, blah, blah, and you ignore it, right? The lady will take the hint and she'll move on. But if you do that to a guy... That's like an invitation to him. And gentlemen, if you take it as an invitation to keep texting and keep texting, uh, please stop. Hey, babe. What the? Here you go. Is, is everything okay? Yeah, I'm just giving you back my ring. I'll be back. Wait, where are you going? I, I need some time to think. Wait, babe, no, I was just kidding. It was a joke. Wait, what? What do you mean? Yeah, you said it's coming to me. Now he's never gonna come back. Oh shit. Babe, no, you're stuck with me forever! Hey, who do you got for the Canelo fight? Canelo or Triple G? I Alright. <laughs> <laughs> who do you got for the Canelo fight? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not interested in having a conversation, I'm sorry. I just want to have a relaxing flight and enjoy my bagel right now. You know what? Here. Do you know if you eat a bagel on a plain, do you know what it's called? A plain bagel. <laughs> a plain bagel. <laughs> I mean, you want you to talk, right? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the New York accent makes this interaction so much fun to watch. My man said that plain bagel. I mean, if you want to talk, let's talk about some stupid stuff. This is the best way to deal with annoying Karens like this one. You need to fix this. <laughs> no, I don't. Okay.